in the 64th chapter of the book of Isaiah. And you know, I've never gotten this connection until today. Many times I've quoted, oh, I've quoted and you have that verse that really makes the flesh uh, nervous. And the sixth verse said, but we're all, all of us, S A W L. that's all of us. We're all as an unclean thing. And all our righteousnesses are, as present tense, as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. If you're flesh, if you're made out of flesh, whether you weigh 79 or 149, brother, I mean, if you're in the flesh, you're in a bad fix without Christ. Now, verse 7, and this could be our text tonight. There's none. Now, he talked about all of us. Now, he said there's none. I mean, just look like nobody. There's none that calleth upon thy name that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. But thou hast hid thy face from us and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. Notice what he said. There's not a man stirring. That's a picture of death, isn't it? Nobody stirred up. I'm preaching tonight on the sin of an unstirred church. I'd have to still say I'm seeing less stirring among God's people than I've ever seen in my life. Now you pray for this message tonight. And then ask yourself, how long has it been since I've literally been stirred to the roots of my spiritual being? I'd say this, the denominational program's not too stirring. And the average church program doesn't have too much challenge to stir. I'm talking about we're living in an unstirred generation. And yet, surely I can say that if there's any generation that ought to be stirred and has ever reason to be stirred up, I mean, to a flaming heat, it ought to be us now.